got scars to show for being around education reform. And the first word you need to say in every city and state, and just draw a line in the sand, the public schools exist for the benefit of the children. You're going to see a lot of people fall over. Because any time you're spending $199 billion a year, somebody's getting it. And the children get lost in the process. So that's step one. Keep in mind, in 1960, when our schools were the envy of the world, we were spending $16 billion on them. Now we spend more than any other nation in the world, $199 billion a year, and rank at the bottom of the industrialized world in terms of education achievement. One more time, you brought a front row box seat and got a third-rate performance. It's a government that's not serving you. By and large, it's, it should be local. The more local, the better. Interesting phenomenon. Small towns have good schools. Big cities have terrible schools. The best people in a small town will serve on the school board. You get into big cities, it's political patronage, stepping stones. You get the job, give your relatives the janitor's jobs at $57,000 a year, more than the teachers make, and with luck, they clean the cafeteria once a week. Now, you're paying for that. Those schools belong to you. And we put up with that. And as long as you put up with that, that's what you're going to get. And these folks are just dividing up $199 billion bucks, and the children get lost. If I could wish for one thing for great public schools, it'd be a strong family unit in every home. Nothing will ever replace that. You say, well, gee, what are you going to do about that? Well, the White House is a bully pulpit, and I think we ought to be pounding on the table every day. There's nothing, the most efficient unit of government the world will ever know is a strong, loving family unit. Next thing, you need small schools, not big schools. A little school, everybody's somebody. Individualism is very important. These big factories, everybody told me they were cost effective. I did a study on it. They're cost ineffective. 5,000 students, why is a high school that big? One reason. Sooner or later, you get 11 more boys that can run like the devil that weigh 250 pounds, and they might win district. Now, that has nothing to do with learning. Secondly, across Texas, typically half the school day was non-academic pursuits. In one place, it was 35%. In Texas, you could have unlimited absences to go to livestock shows. Found a boy, excuse me, but you got, this gives the flavor. Boy in Houston kept a chicken in the bathtub in downtown Houston. Missed 65 days going to livestock shows. Finally had to come back to school. The chicken lost his feathers. That's the only way we got him back. <laughs> now, that's your tax money being wasted. Now, neighborhood schools. It is terrible to bust <laughs> tiny little children across town. And it is particularly terrible to, to take poor tiny little children and wait until the first grade and bust them across town to Mars where the children know their numbers, know their letters, have had every advantage at the end of the first day that little child wants out. I'll close on this. We've got to have world-class teachers, world-class books. If you ever got close to how textbooks were uh, selected, you wouldn't want to go back the second day. I don't have time to tell you the stories. Uh, no, you don't. Finally. Finally. <laughs> finally. But this, if we don't fix this, you're right. We can't have the industries of tomorrow unless we have the best educated workforce. And here you've got, for the disadvantaged children, you've got to have early childhood development, cheapest money you'll ever spend, first contact should be with the mother when she's pregnant, that little child needs to be loved and hugged and nurtured and made to feel special, like your children were. They learn to think well or poorly themselves in the Thank first you. 18 months. Thank you, and Mr. within the Price. first few years, they either learn how to learn or don't know how to learn how to learn. And if they don't, they wind up in prison. Thank and it you, costs Mr. more to keep Perot. them in prison than it does to send them to Harvard. I rest my case. Thank